guys and welcome back to Creative Packkeeping. In this video, I am going to show you how I dye Banana's tail ombre. I use two colors, yellow and pink, for a fun flame effect. So the materials that I used is a two-tooth comb, which works for Banana's long tail, some gloves to make sure my hands don't get stained with the dye. I also have a towel. You could have a scrunchie if, if it helps you, but I ended up not using it. And you need doggy hair dye. I ended up using all paws. You don't want to use a human hair dye because it can be toxic to dogs. You need something that will be doggy safe. I also have some tin foil to protect all the surfaces and a little hair dyeing coloring brush to help brush on and smooth on the colors. So I started off by brushing out her tail, making sure that there are no tangles and it's easier to apply the color and protecting it with some foil. I also put it around her butt so if she wags her tail she doesn't get any color on her butt. So here I am applying the color. As you can see I'm kind of letting her be comfortable and I'm letting her move her tail however she wants so this is as comfortable for her as possible. And I started off with applying the yellow color and getting it in all of the different parts of her tail. There is no fancy special technique to this, just work your way around. And as you can see, all my other critters were kind of hanging out with us as well. As you can see, Littlefoot and Mouse Pig was hanging out too. And then what I did is I mixed in some of the pink that I have and started it very strongly at the edges and then I worked my way upwards. So what this does is this creates a ombre effect. Then I ended up wrapping her tail up in the foil very gently. You don't want to squeeze or squish the tail so there's no cutting off of blood circulation. You want to make sure the dog is comfortable. And this is where uh, her down stays are very important her obedience because I told her to stay and down and she will patiently wait for the 30 minutes for the color to set. When the time was up I rinsed her tail with some cold water. I did it outside just to not get um, any dye anywhere and you want to rinse it until it runs clear just like this. That's how you know it's safe and you won't get dye over everything. But look how it turned out so cute. Then to dry out her tail, we played a game of fetch. Now, you know, you don't have to do this with your dog. You could use a um, blow dryer or let your dog naturally dry their tail. I just, you know, I'm thinking of ways to make this more fun. And fetching is the most fun thing for a banana. So this is the final product. I hope that you guys like it. Of course, it will fade over time as banana gets wet, but I think it's very fitting for her. And if you liked this video and you aren't a part of the Creative Critters, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of our happy family and check out all the awesome over a hundred videos on my channel. And be sure to check out my other channels, including my vlog channels for behind the scenes.